today. We see what the word of God told us. And we pray. And what the word of God we are telling us yesterday it talks about poverty. Poverty is not a thing that are good at all. Amen. Poverty is not a thing that you will welcome into your home. Tell somebody, don't welcome poverty into your home. Amen. But the reason of being here today, poverty will be far away from you. What brings poverty into homes? The Lord God Almighty will praise them down to pieces today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me then look at our Bible, so the book of Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11, we are going to take it because of time. Because we promised the children today that the children, they did excellent work. Let's jump our hands together for our children. Hallelujah. Jump those two hands together for Jesus. Jump it together for the children also. They did excellent work. Indeed, he shows to us that God is with our children. That of a truth, they are the light of the world. And no power will quench that light in Jesus' name. None of the sin of the mother. Neither the Father will quench that light in Jesus' name. Amen. We promise them that today we will close earlier to tell them to feed our children. I am begging their parents, mother, father at home. Please and please, you will join us if you know truly that our children did excellent thing. You will join us to take those children out. Amen. Proverbs 11, we are going to take it from verse 19. For us to understand it better, let us take it from verse 12. Amen. Amen. From verse 12. He that is void of wisdom, the sunset his labors. But the man of understanding, who death is this. Amen. I'm sorry, let's take it from verse 10. From verse 10. Mm -hmm. When the poet well with the righteous, mm. the city reverse. Amen. He said, when he go at what? Well with the righteous. The city do what? They rejoice. Meaning, in another way, when God blesses us, the church lack nothing. Amen. Amen. If God blesses us, how many of us that God have not blessed? Let me see by now. Do you know that God did not bless you? Let me see by now. No hands raising up. Many God have blessed us. Amen. Many this church is not going to laugh because of you and I. Amen. Because God has do what He has blessed us. Amen. He said, when the righteous be what? Be doing well. Be blessed. If they the city do what? They rejoice. You will rejoice in your home in Jesus' name. Amen. You will rejoice in your marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go on. And when the wicked perish, oh, there is shouting. Amen. He said, when the wicked not perish, there is what? A shouting. You will hear the cry of your enemy this month in Jesus' name. Amen. You will hear the shouting of your enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. You will hear the pains of your enemy this month in Jesus' name. Amen. All your enemies, they shall be in pain. Amen. Everyone that is looking at you in a different way, there will be a pain in Jesus' name. Amen. The enemy that is looking at your children in evil way, the Lord will blind those eyes in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go on. Verse 11. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. Amen. He said, By the blessing of the upright, the city was exalted. Amen. When you know that God has 
place us abundantly. This church need not to lack. Amen. And we know that we have been what? Blessed. If as we are teaching today, the discipline in us. It is time for us to discipline what? Ourselves. In any angle, in any area. When we are serving God, we need to discipline what? Ourselves. Discipline ourselves to give unto God. He said, when the blessing of the upright, the city is what? Exalted. You will be blessed. There are people who shout hallelujah with you in the crossover night. Many have no yet to be found to you. Many have covered themselves with sound. But if we sin alive, meaning God is counting on you and I in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell somebody God will count on you. God is counting on you. Amen. Let go. But it is overshone by the mouth of the wicked. Mm. Yes, he that is born of wisdom, the his neighbor. But the man of understanding who get his peace. Amen. Read that number 12 I gave for us to understand. He that is void in wisdom, mm. then spicet his neighbor. Amen. That is what we talk today. It says we should control what? Our tongues. When you are wise, the words that comes out from your mouth, it encourage the neighbor. It encourage those who hear it. When you are wise. When a fool open a mouth to speak, he do what? He make others to get what? Angry. They are well provoked. If you know that you are what? You are wise as from today as you are hearing the sound of my voice today. Let the words that comes out from your mouth be a word that people will hear. They will be saying, ah, I thought that this, this word is getting to an end. Thank God for God. Amen. Let people thank God for the word that comes out what from your mouth. Let it be the word of what encouragement. Let encourage one another in Christ Jesus. Let encourage one another. Say, brother, please encourage me in Christ. Brother, please encourage me in Christ. Talk to another person and say, please encourage me in Christ. Please encourage me in Christ. Amen. When we begin to encourage one another in Christ, we begin to see that unity be what growing what in us. Let's try to encourage one another. Don't use your your level, your high level, to bring out another person that is just growing. That is what I used to tell people. I said, Come in the kingdom of God. God is not looking for people that qualify. If God are looking for people that qualify, I couldn't have been standing here today like tell you the truth. Amen. God called me to qualify me. God look at me when you look at what? Everything. I am not qualified at all. Who am I to stand to call the name of the I am that I am? The one who says that let there be light and there was light. We are not qualified. But God called us here to do what? To qualify us. Anyone that are doing things in the house of God, do it well or not, according to his strength, let's jump our hands together for that person. Because your way of doing is not my way of what? Of doing. Let's encourage one another. When we begin to do this, you will see that the light of God will begin to shine on us day and night in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell somebody, let your word be the courage. Let your word be the courage. Stop that ways that making people to do what? To get angry. Many of us, we know how to protect people when we open our mouths. Please and please. It is never the will of God. You are not working for God. By the time you open your mouth just to provoke the one that is sitting by you, knowing it that you are not helping the kingdom of God. You are not building what? The kingdom of God. By the time you begin to lie, by the time you begin to speak all those words that will provoke 
people to pull them away. You know, the Bible says, by their fruits, we shall know them. I am talking to everyone today. When such people comes unto you, please, you don't pick hunger because you are mature. When you hear those words, just mark them. The Bible says, by their fruit, we shall know them. If they didn't speak, you will not know who is that person. Overcome it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let go. Verse 13. The pale bearer will be left secret. For he that is of faithful spirit consoleth the matter. Amen. Talk and again, maybe here. Verse 13. Mm. The pale bearer will mm. be secret. For he that is of faithful spirit consoleth the matter. Amen. Amen. Somebody that comes to you, that reveals his own secrets unto you, if you are a good person, you will know how to do what? Mm -hmm. Amen. But what the wicked do, they take it outside. Somebody that comes unto you and reveals his own pain, his own secrets unto you, the Bible says, Whoa! To that man. Oh, yeah. yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. The Bible says, Whoa! To that man. Somebody coming to you with pain in or in her, looking at you as a member, looking at you as an intercessor, looking at you as what? God, what? Servant. Come unto you and reveal his own secret unto you. Instead of you to help the person to cover up the secret and to talk as wisdom man and woman, to hang on in to make sure that that container did not open for another person to come in. And you not be the person that will say, This is the secret of this man. This is the secret of this woman. I know it all. Let me blow it out so that people will mock her, so that people will look down on her or him. I said to you, Go on to that person in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody coming to you to tell you, look at what I am facing in life. Help the person to do what? To settle that matter. Somebody coming to you, he look at you as a friend. He look at you as a member. He confide on you. By the time the person leaves, you took on your phone and you caught the drugs, the told the fifth person and say, come, you just they leave my house so. He said the husband, what he husband do to her today? Hmm. I mean, I go back or not for that house. The other one will say, What did you tell him or her? And what I want to tell her. I'm not tell her anything. Yo. Make it day there. Now you choose her. Amen. I say repent. Amen. I am saying what? Repent. If you didn't repent and you continue. You will receive double of that pain of that person in Jesus' name. Amen. Repent. It is time for us to do what? To be doing things that is right, that pleases God. Somebody tells you this is the matter, this is the sickness I am passing through. Instead of you to join the person to pray, you call the person, the person outside, and begin to say, On a way we win. May the Lord have mercy on us. Please repent. If you want God to have mercy, repent. Because if you didn't repent, God will not have mercy. Mm -hmm. Let go on. Verse 14. Where no cancer is, the people fall. Amen. You see, where no cancer is, the people do what? They fall. People coming to you to tell you, this is the challenge that I am passing through. You will do what? You cancel that person. With godly work. Cancel. Don't cancel that person in equal way when we go home. Fire beam on his own family. Don't do that. Every one of all knows what is good and what is bad. Cancel that person in what? In a good way. Oh, my husband, this is what my husband did now because I never tell you the one way my own they do me. Let cancel what? One another. Oh, my children, this is how my children, oh, because I never open my mouth to tell you what my children is doing. 
can sell that person you want a godly way. No of any human being that God is being created to be what? To be wayward. No. It is for you to know that if your own is doing well, give glory unto God. If another person's source is not doing well, meaning we need God intervention. That God to intervene. Because it's not by your own strength that your own is doing good. It's just because the grace of God. What you need to do, Father, my own is doing well. The grace of you that makes my own to be doing well. I release this upon this sister. I release this upon this brother. So that the us will be what? Doing well. That is all. There is no parent that don't know how to train his own children. No parents. Don't say because your own obeys you. And my own does not obey me that I don't know how to do what to train what my children. No parents. No parents. If my own obey my own, obey me, and your own is not obeying you, I will say, Father, the grace of you that makes my own to obey my obey me. Father, let this also fall upon my neighbor's own. It's by grace. It's not because you know how to train begin. Amen. It's just by God's grace. How many hours the children is staying with you? The children also stay with the teacher and other, other children outside. You might tell children today, this is thing that you don't do. When they get to school, the teacher will teach them and say, do it. There's no problem. And the beginner will begin to look at the mother and begin to look at the teacher. They begin to wait to which one will I follow. Amen. Is the grace of God. When the power, the spirit of God is upon that baby, that baby, God will now begin to lead that baby to the one that is right. Whether his mother or is right, God will lead him or her to that his mother or. Whether that teacher's own is right, God will lead him or her to that teacher's own. It's just God. It's God that is training our children for us. Not we. It's God. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go on. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Amen. You see, in the multitude of war, counseling, there is war, safety. There is safety. The Lord will help us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go on. Verse 15. He that is shorty for the stranger. She has smart for it. Mm. And he that hated salt tissue is sure. Amen. Go on. And a gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retaineth peace. Hallelujah. This one concerns me and you. If you are a man, yeah, the Bible is talking to you. If you are a woman, yeah, the Bible is also what, talking to you. Let's receive it. Let me it again to our ear again. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. A gracious woman mm -hmm. in the honor. Amen. If you want to do what? If you want people to honor you as woman, this is what the Bible is doing for eternal us. Respect yourself first. That is the first thing. Respect what? Yourself. The words that you use in another woman. The words that comes out from your mouth. Don't go to another woman to say, hey, look at your begin. You don't know how to train it. You don't want to do this. You do it well. You do it like this. You do it like this. The teacher, clap for yourself. Amen. Amen. Clap for yourself. By the time you are doing that, you are not helping what? That woman at all. A fellow woman like you. Did you know what that woman is passing through when he sent his daughter or his son a message and he refused to go? Do you know that pain that woman feel? Did you know that you are not coming? Instead of you as a woman, as a woman, instead of you to encourage the woman, and you are not putting more blood, more fire. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. Even when the woman is shouting upon her daughter, upon her son, says, No, no, no. This shouting cannot just solve this issue at all. What we need to do is to be praying. Don't pray. Allow the spirit to take over. 
when the spirit of God take over, you yourself will be surprised what this baby will become. This your shouting and beating, it cannot help. Many of us, if beating the head, we, we will not have the same teeth, youth running up and down. Upon all the beating when our mothers beat us. We get it all the time. When we now say it is time for us, many of us, we run for house. We run just for months. Many of us being here in this Europe today is because of what the, the hardship of the parents. They run away. You see not get to the running away from the, from the house. Sometimes it's not because they want to be wayward. It's because of too much of the hardship of the father or the mother. Even here in Europe, children are still doing it. That is the reason I'm telling mother, mother, please take it easy with the baby. Please take it easy. Just cast your mind back. When you will be seen in this age, you do more than this. If the children is behaving like they need to copy your character when you are small, this is what you are doing. And this children is not coming to display it for you. Amen. That is what you are doing. I tell you the truth. Because when we are growing, we are asking our mother, we are saying, oh, mommy, if I, I pray and we both begin like me, everyone is saying, God is saying, oh, Stella is saying, oh, God is saying, oh, ah, brother, no, that's saying, oh, brother, that's we are saying, oh, all of us we are saying, oh. When I open my mouth to say, my, my, mama, my mother says, shut up. I say, mommy, what is He say, we don't pray, may begin, both to begin like you. You suffer me when you are small. If I come born today and my pekin is acting in that way, who will I blame? Amen. Nobody. I will take it. Why? Because my mother has already told me the way I displayed when I was small, when I was young. Many of us, that is what our children are displaying today. But we are busy them. We are doing all sorts of things. But our mother never breaks our hands. In all that we have done, they still carry us, they still cherish us. Please and please, anything that you see your children doing, just believe and the character of the father or the mother. Answer may not cause worry, now both of you character carry. Amen. Hallelujah. Now both of you. Because that is what was happening. When I was doing, my mother would say, Believe people don't do this. My father would say, If you guess, don't they behave like this? It become what? Quarry. My grandmother will sell my mother. He will say, Come, the reason why they are why she's behaving like this. Now two blood mixed together like us. Amen. Then they will end that matter just like that. Please and please. Don't be so harsh for your children. Love them. With love, the Bible says, with love, we can conquer many things. Draw them closer to yourself. Your children do you something that you did not like. Use love to draw him or her back to yourself. You know what that your children need so much. Buy it for her. Call her. Talk to her. Make friends with her. There are some children today in Europe. They cannot confirm on their parents. They tell it to outsider. What they are passing through because you are too what harsh for them. Be a woman of what of honor. Let your children be posted when they go outside of you. Please and please, and God Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The big part for the men. And the strong man with no riches. Amen. If you are a lazy man, this one is just open. If you are a lazy man, just say bye bye to richness. Amen. You need to work out to be what? To be strong. He said, a strong man do what? Gain next what? Return it what? Riches. Because it's a hard working one. Man. If you want to be lazy here in Europe and be rich, too. You are deceiving yourself. I have to tell you what the truth. You are deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. Yeah, now the Bible did not say women. It didn't say you should not help your husband. 
If God still give you that strength, please walk to him so that there will be more plenty of food in that house. Amen. Amen. And I don't say, Mama said it today. Man, be strong if you want to gain riches. For that, I relax. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Let's move on. Verse 17. The merciful man doeth good to his own soul. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he that is true complete his own flesh. Amen. Please and please. Let's stop trouble what? Our flesh. Do good to others. Do good to yourselves. Do good to yourself. Take care of yourselves very well. As many in Europe, they don't care. They don't take care of themselves. But when a God comes from Nigeria, I want to visit us with to send me 100 euro. You will send. But here is free. But you will not go. Amen. You will not go. Here is what? It's free. You only participate in what? In tickets when you are walking. If you are not walking, here is free. It's free. Only to go to hospital and just change and say, I'm passing, just change my BB. You will not go. Even the machine, yeah, they are so what? Cheap. You can spend the money on cigarettes or of uh, strong drinks, but so look at your head. That one took us for you. May the Lord deliver us in Jesus' name. As many, we don't know how to take care of ourselves. We go to the markets, you are the one working the money. When you go to the markets, you are looking for the one that is cheap, that people have pushed aside. And that one you want buy. When you see the multitude of something, be cheap. If you not mean me, I the wrong. I don't know about you. If they don't pack tomatoes, and that tomatoes, nobody said that they do salty. It's just cheap like that. Me, I look inside and say there is something that is not quadra. There is something that is wrong. Amen. But some of our people, that is what they go for. They will say, Oh, to go to slaughter where they kill lama to buy lama for them is hard. They are going for chinese. The one that they put in fridge, the time when they never go for me. You see, they that fridge. And that one you're good for. And you want to go and cook it and do what? And eat it. Amen. Amen. May the Lord really help us. Please let's try and help ourselves and God Almighty. We also help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go on. Verse 18. The wicked walketh a deceitful walk, mm. but to him that sow it, righteousness shall be sure of the world. Amen. The wicked, and the Bible says, the wicked, they do what? They are doing things that, you know, when they say, give unto God, their hands is so what? It's so tight. So people will think, oh, na 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 me want to give, me me pastor go buy new shoe. Na me want to give, me me pastor go buy new dress. That is the thought of what of the wicked. But the righteous, their thought is that oh, the Lord says, thank God, and I have been what called to build the kingdom of God. They are giving all what unto God, not unto man. That is what the righteous think is. It's only the wicked that think that they are giving unto man. Because when you think that you are giving unto man, you will never get the reward. The reward will never come unto you. But when you think that you are giving unto God, he said that God Almighty will do what? He will reward you. And we saw it yesterday. He said, whatever that we think, what our heart thinks, he said he comes unto us. We prayed yesterday for those who were here yesterday. We know they know what I'm talking about. That is what the Bible tells us. He said, when we think evil in our mind, he said, very soon we will see that evil be what? Making me manifest. That is what the Bible tells us yesterday. He said, but when we think good in our heart, he said, very soon we begin to see that good thing may manifest. It is not a magic, my dear. Knowing is that you are a spirit being. You are a spirit being. 
You are not just ordinary person. You are not a wood. You are not what? Those objects. Knowing is that the prince of God himself, the spirit of God, he dwells what? In you. You are not just what? Ordinary person. That the same God that breathes in you, that the spirit of God is you, that the same God with that the same spirit, he said, let the air be light, he commands light and light comes. By the time you are thinking good, you are commanding that good thing to come. And that good thing, you begin to see it what may manifest in your life. By the time you begin to think evil, it is not a magic. Because you are a spirit being. Because Christ lives in you. That spirit lives in you. That spirit is the one that is carrying what? Your own what? Body. By the time you begin to think what? Bad. That bad you begin to see what? It may manifest. Which one will you choose? Are you the one to choose the thinking of good in your heart? Or evil? It is less for you. Amen. Let's go on. Verse 19. As right as then let the line, so he that pursued to me, pursued to his own death. Amen. He said, as righteous, then that what? To life. Those that are doing evil, that are pursuing evil, how are they going to end? The Bible said that we end that what? Dead. It is left for you to know what you want to do, what you want to tell them. Lastly, let's read that 20. Then we stop here. Verse 20. They that are of forward heart are abomination unto the Lord. Mm. For such as, such as are upright in their way are his delight. Amen. 21. Verse 21. Though hands join in hands, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Amen. Let's rise on our feet. He said, The seed of the righteous will be born, will be delivered. Let a thousand of evil gather together, but as the seed of the righteous, you will be delivered in Jesus' name. I pray for somebody, you will be delivered in that struggle that you are struggling in Jesus' name. You will be delivered. In that thing that is bringing you down, you will be delivered to them in Jesus' name. The God of heaven will deliver you. From that poverty, the God of heaven will deliver you. From that sickness, the God of heaven will deliver you. From, from that challenges, the God of heaven will deliver you. From that barrier, the God of heaven will deliver you. And now thousands of enemies gather together. They are saying that you will not have your children. I have come to speak to you today. That if you are here and you are looking for the fruit of the womb, I said this year will not pass you by. I said this year will not pass you by. I said this year will not pass you by. I said this year will not pass you by. I said this year will not pass you by. I said this year will not pass you by. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are going to pray. And we pray this yesterday because of the successes we are not selfish we are just going to play the B part of it and leave the A part of it for, for yesterday we saw it yesterday where the Bible is telling us that we will not end up in poverty amen many people they talk and talk in this room if you see somebody that is not making it, no, because that person is lazy, eh? Don't call that person a lazy man or lazy woman. People have work and work. People have handled money. When I talk about money, I say money. But today, they are struggle to live. It's not a good thing at all. It's not a good thing. People will tell you, I have been working in Fabrica. For many years, but they have nothing to show. It's not their force. There are some forces that we cannot see with our naked eyes. The moment they walk that money, and those forces are waiting for that money to arrive so that they will cause strike, so that that money will go. 
I have come to pray for somebody today. Whatever that you have labored for, that you have lost that, the Lord says I should tell you that is in bringing things in the top of it your life to put the devil to shame in your life in the authority name of Jesus. Let's hold our count. If you are believing Amen. Mm-hmm. 